What's going on everybody? Welcome to Rotor Riot. I am Kevin. Today I have something very special here for you. We're gonna take this guy, my Betaflight F3 board, and these guys, my KISS 24 amp ESCs, and we're gonna flash the KISS 24 amp ESCs through the Betaflight board. That's right, you don't need a KISS flight controller anymore. You can do this all in your Betaflight board and Betaflight GUI, and a couple of other little tools which I am gonna walk you through right now on how to do. Number one, you will need the KISS uh, um, ESC firmware that you want to flash. In this case, I'm gonna be flashing it with RC9. There will be a link below you can get that from. The second thing that you're gonna need, flash loader. Download the zip file from the link below and unpack that. Once you've downloaded the zipped file, uh, you're gonna have to go over to Chrome and install flash loader. Now, if you've never installed a um, extension for Chrome that isn't uh, in the Chrome App Store, it's really easy to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Chrome app in your address bar, we are gonna type chrome forward slash forward slash extensions forward slash. Boom. You can see here that I've got several extensions that are already installed on my computer, but uh, if you don't have this box checked right here, you're not gonna see those options there at the top of the screen. So you're gonna go ahead and click on developer mode, which is gonna enable us to load an unpacked extension. So we load the unpacked extension. I've got it in my downloads folder and select the folder that has flash loader, select it, boom. That baby is installed. We can go ahead and launch it now, it'll be fine. We got uh, flash loader loaded and launched. Now, the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna get the Betaflight board ready to program our ESCs. So go ahead and go into the Betaflight configurator, plug in your Betaflight board. If you got auto connect, do that. If not, click connect. And we're gonna go into the CLI and in the CLI, we are gonna type in ESC P R O G space KI space 255. And that's it, you type that in, hit enter, pass through on all outputs is now enabled. Disconnect from Betaflight. Now what I like to do here to make this nice and easy is while it's connected, you're still connected to the computer, you've just disconnected from Betaflight, look up there in the top right of your screen and you're gonna see which um, port the Betaflight board is connected on. And that's gonna be very important in our next step. After you have verified that you have the right port in the Betaflight configurator, we go over to Flash Loader. And in Flash Loader, we should be able to see that same port, which we do. We select that. Over here, we're gonna select, it's not a KISS FC anymore, it's a USB UART. Now, what we have to do is we have to select the file. So we're gonna choose the file, which is the KISS firmware that we downloaded from the uh, Flyduino website. In my downloads folder, I select that KISS 24 amp, click open. I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I'm sure my ESCs have a bootloader and it's gonna warn you in fast mode, ESCs without a bootloader will spin up. Make sure your props are off. Make sure that you have 1.02 or better. If you're sure you've got the bootloader on there, go ahead and click okay. Before we click anything else, we're gonna take our LiPo and connect the LiPo also. LiPo is on. And you notice you didn't hear the uh, KISS ESC boot up sound? That is because the Betaflight is set up to just be a pass through directly to the uh, KISS ESCs. So it is basically a USB UART at this point. If you look here, I have a battery plugged in, the flight controller is powered on, but the ESC, there are no lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click right flash. And once you've clicked right flash, while it is flashing, you're gonna see a percentage ticking up in the white box right here. And you're also going to see your KISS 24 amp ESCs flashing rapidly. So it's gonna just flash, 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 flash. Um, Boom, the lights went out and the lights go out because the uh, Betaflight board is still programmed to just be a USB pass through straight to that. So once you've completed that, you can go up here and click close com because we know we've successfully closed it. It says done, we're disconnected, com closed, click that out. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my battery and go over to Betaflight tell it to connect. If it doesn't connect right away, that's not that abnormal. I would just go ahead and disconnect it from the USB cable, reconnect the USB cable, connect it right up, no problem. I think at this point, if I plug in the battery, you're gonna hear the ESC boot up sound. Boo doo doo doo. We're good to go, go to the motors tab, just do a little test spin. Motors are spinning great. Boom, we are done. We have flashed the newest KISS ESC firmware, which is currently 
at the time of filming is RC9 to my brand new KISS ESCs, which did not come with that version of the firmware, through my Betaflight board. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, found this helpful. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe, come back. We're always coming in with cool tips and lots of fun flying. And I can't wait to see you again out in the field flying. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.